I am now joined by Hall of Fame wide receiver Chris Carter. Chris, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me. Very good. How are you doing? I am Hope doing. Same. Hope your family's safe there in yes. California. Yep, same to you. So you are a former Ohio State Buckeye, and we're talking Buckeyes today. We're talking K.J. Hill, who the Chargers selected in the seventh round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Your connection to K.J. is a unique one because he told me you persuaded him to go back to school for his senior year. Why was that the right move? Well, I just thought at the time, and especially being very, very close to graduation, mm -hmm. I think that sometime in your pursuit of an NFL career, you lose sight of what you went to college for. I also believe that there was also skills that he could show in his senior year that would give him potential that he could have a longer career and the potential of being one of the leaders on a team that could have a special season. All those things were the reasons why I thought he should come back to school. So in getting to what he did on the field, he led the team in receptions. He broke Ohio State's career receptions record. What really impressed you about what he was able to do on the gridiron in 2019? I felt like even though he put himself making the right decision to go back to school, it's always a lot of pressure yeah. to put up good numbers because guys want to be drafted high. They want to get senior awards and everything. And when you're typically on a team, it was in the top five for the most part throughout the season, got to the national playoffs, um, you have to sacrifice. And so for me, he never got selfish trying to think about his pro career and chase stats compared to being a leader, being consistent, continue to develop as a football player, and he ended up having a heck of a season. Is that just kind of the player he is, just that unselfish mentality that he has? I, I think so. I think he's been an all-round good player. He has great hands. He understands football. He understands route running, leverage. Um, that's the reason why he's been able to be successful. If you look at all the players, the records that he broke in pursuit of becoming the all-time receiver at Ohio State, a lot of those guys went on to have pretty good pro careers. So if he's able to continue growing that, then he should be able to be able to make a contribution to an NFL team. So I was talking with Chargers GM Tom Telesco, and he told me they weren't necessarily looking to take a receiver in the seventh round, but when they saw that K.J. Hill was available, he was just too good to pass up. We're obviously very thankful he's a Charger, and to reference your point, look forward to what he can do on this team, but do you think maybe he might have gotten a little overlooked just given how much receiver talent there is in this draft? Well, if you look at the experts who I really, really respect, he talked about this being – maybe the best wide receiver class in the last 20 years, potentially in the first three rounds, 20 to 25 guys, um, six guys going in the first round. So it was a very, very deep class, but that's, that, that was good news. But the bad news was we also, after the combine, went through the pandemic where everything was mm -hmm. shut down. So for me, I believe it was easier this year in an imperfect system to overlook players and overlook productivity for potential and that's what you get with with, with, with kj he has been very productive mm -hmm. at the highest level that you can play at and being consistent but projecting him to the next level i believe because you couldn't do those interviews and all that intel that we really missed out on i believe that you're going to find out a lot of teams missed on guys because they changed up the system so we talked a little bit about KJ as the player. You referenced him going back to school to get that degree, his leadership ability. But what are the Chargers getting in him just as a person? Well, he's really developed um, since he's come to Ohio State um, on and off the field. Mm -hmm. He's been very, very consistent, played outside receivers, played inside receiver, has also played on special teams. And I believe he can win a job in the NFL because his overall versatility and having guys around him that were recruited over him because that's what he's got there, um, you know, with the Chargers. And he's got to be able to watch these veterans, learn from them. And if he's going to be a slot receiver in the NFL, he's got Keenan Allen there, yeah. which allows him to learn from one of the absolute best. So I was able to work with Keenan when he was coming out of college, getting ready for the draft. And I've watched his career. He's turned into be an excellent wide receiver. So another guy that should have been drafted higher, yeah. but is going on to have, a very good career. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't matter where you go. What matters is the opportunity that you make of it once you get it. 
And then lastly, Chris, KJ is joining another Buckeye in the Bolts and Joey Bosa. You were with the Bosa brothers a couple months ago. Always cool to see former Buckeyes have success in the NFL. Yeah, and, and the Bosas, we, are, we go back until my Ohio State days. Okay. Their, Eric Kumaro played with me at mm-hmm. Ohio State. Their mother, um, who Eric's twin, and her, we all went to school together at Ohio State. So her and I were friends since I was 19. That's when a they cool story. Were Florida, I was coaching at St. Thomas Aquinas, and they came to St. Thomas just like anyone else, and they just continue working and blossoming. And the parents have done a tremendous job of guiding these kids because not only are they some of the most talented young people I've ever been around, but they're focused on football and getting better, taking care of their body, and they play with such great energy at every level that they've played that. So I'm very, very proud to say that I know them. And they play the game um, the way I want the game to be played. Well, that is certainly great. I mean, Joey's obviously had a lot of success. Nick is on his way. We hope the same success for KJ, obviously, as a receiver. Chris, thank you so much for joining me. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And please be safe.